Tribe lets you play games on your phone without ever stopping video chatting with your friends. You see them up in the corner while you play all sorts of simple, fun, old school arcade games. And that means you don't have to post to feeds, you can just hang out. We're sitting down with the founder, Cyril Paglino, to see what he has to say about the future of gaming on mobile. So Tribe used to be a video messaging app and you guys changed into a gaming app. So Why did you pivot? So we were building um, a video communication product since two years and a half, first asynchronous, then live. So still using the video as the main medium and we liked it, but we thought it was a bit crowded. And so we've um, looking to add an extension to that and games was pretty logical. If you look at the real life, when you have a dinner with friends, at the end you play poker or Uno or Monopoly on a Sunday. And so we think that games is really like an extension of what really like meaningful connection can be. And so we're trying to build casual game, pretty simple, pretty silly and funny um, for a group of people that want to play together when they are physically apart, basically. So you mentioned that the space was kind of crowded. I mean, between Facebook and yeah. Instagram stories and Snapchat, you guys were pretty similar to Snapchat. And, and is, was that what you're talking about when you say it was too crowded? Yeah, also like the video messaging space, basically. If you look at the Facebook Messenger right now, video messenger on Facebook is great. Uh, apps like Our Spotty doing great product. So a lot of video um, product out there that is like are doing the great job. And so we're looking to find a way to just like sneak out of it and have something different proposed, basically. So we've seen this shift from video and video chat being used for a utility to being sort of a way to just hang out with your friends and waste time. Why do you think that that's such a popular use case for video now? First, devices are more and more capable of doing that. Um, network also and Wi-Fi is getting better. So a few years ago, if you sent a picture or video to someone, it was a poor quality, quality and, quality and like you know, costing you something in terms of like uh, bandwidth and, and, and money. Run it's free, we feed everywhere, and, and the, the, the phone are way better and the camera are way better, front and face camera. So I think the, the, the use case of getting lazy at your place, at your room and being on FaceTime is getting way much bigger since the past years, and FaceTime have been also helping that a lot. So right now that the um, tech is ready and everything is um, you know, ready for that, we can just add more stuff, so filters or games, potentially more stuff at the end, like collaboration and stuff like that in the future. Yeah, and it seems like people are just sort of sick of always posting to a feed or to their stories, and instead they want something a little bit less pressureful where they can just sort of be themselves, right? Definitely, this definition of hanging together um, while you're not physically apart is really important to us. And this is why we're out of, we don't have any feed or any posting stuff. It's really like you and people that matters to you, and you can just talk to them, play with them, have fun, uh, compete, and, and this is basically the, the, the core uh, essence of the product.